Indeed, James and Mitch, take it away. Oh, that is right, Freya. This is the grand final. It's a best of five. It's Fun Plus Phoenix taking on G2 Esports. G2 Esports have a one map lead because they came from the upper bracket. FPX fought through the lower bracket and had that horrible start against G2. Both maps ending 13-3 in the favor of G2 Esports. Now they've got to show us a different face. Now, Mitch, We've done many of these Ignition Series Grand Finals. This is the last one for an Ignition Series here in Europe. We don't have a crowd, but we do have all of you amazing people in Twitch chat. So make some noise. Get ready for this. This is going to be great no matter how it goes down. Let's get it on. <laughs> the energy being brought by Banks is unrivaled. Let's see if there's enough energy over on the FBX side to make up for what happened last time. They've given up mid control. They're in a little bit of danger because David P, he's already snuck around the side, but they haven't checked their close left. One, oh. two, maybe three, running out of ammo, but Shadow does well to pull that back into a world where FBX can oh. win. And Angel, oh, he's doing it all. Angel again with the sheriff in his hand. He's trying to make the magic happen. It's all on Ardis. You told us you walk on water. You told us you do something with some brilliance as well. And you start off with one kill, but you've got no option to heal yourself up. You've got to play this like a god. He's waiting for the push to come through. But FPX aren't going to give it to him just yet. Trying to gather some extra information here. And he doesn't want to plan it. He knows he's got plenty of time. So he's going straight in for the kill. But Zipam... He's razor sharp with that aim. He delivers the headshot. And this is the confidence booster we were talking about that is needed for the likes of FPX and Shadow. My man, him and Angel, pistol power right now. Absolutely. That's what we wanted to see, Banks. As you said, the confidence booster that they needed. And if you're FPX in that position, you know, the fact that there were two players in market is really what won them that round. The David P finds the first, but you just, you'll never expect another guy to be there. Why would you? And they just sure read. Great work by Shadow to find that double connection. And with that now one to zero, it's only pistols to come through from G2. And as you're seeing, it is decimation from the get-go. He didn't take full damage. They've, they've invested. Yeah, they've taken out their marshals. Uh, they've not. G2 are playing their aggressive game again. That's my bad for presuming that they'd be playing sensibly and safely, but that is not how G2 play. But unfortunately, they're being wrecked. Is this going to give them uh, three rounds more already from the beginning, potentially? You know, can we see the 3 0 start off strong here for FPX? Oh, this is dancing around a little bit, but it won't be long for him to stand strong. So I'm all down for this, right? Because this has already given them more rounds than what they had on the first time around. FPX need to bring a whole new level to this. And that's what we've been wanting to see from these guys. You know, at the end of the day, it is all about finding the confidence for Fun Plus Phoenix. And really, why I say that is not the typical like, oh, you got to, you know, play your own game, you know, feel comfortable. No, it's because G2 consistently, when they play against FPX, they get given way too much space. They feel way too comfortable. And I think an element of that might be down to how individually strong this G2 lineup is. That even when FBX try to fight, they just get smacked back. Look at that little boost up on top of the wall straight away. The benefits of a Sage being shown by David D indirectly. As a tag goes down, lighting up their rays of Zipan to 49 health to slow to keep him in position. And he's only barely able to make it away, burning up most of his utility as he goes. This is a great start for G2 in that sense on the short battle. But unfortunately, They've lost a lot of their players. Yeah, this is not what they would have wanted to see early on with this. Zipan trying to use the blast packs to his benefit. Not much the Patatek's going to be able to see from that for the moment as Meadow's working his way forward. This is easy for them to play into. Just a killjoy to find and poor Piff's already down on 34 health. Easy finish off for Zipan. This is what we expected, though, given what we'd seen. Now it's the real test. Now it's the real time to see what FPX can go up against, right? Can they deal with the might that is G2? Never an easy task, Banks. Never an easy task at all. But at least they're starting it out the right way at the end of the day. The amount of damage they've managed to do, the confidence that must be brewing over. 
on the FBX side. It, remember, G2 came in. They force bought round two. They even had some decent weapons in round number three. So this hasn't been an easy road for FBX. But now they do come up against the full buy. And this is something that Shadow talked about. The fact that they, they never find those early rounds. They never win the pistols. But then they come in with the first buy round. Well, if they manage to do that, they will be well ahead on G2's favorite map. Oh, not the start that Angel would have wanted there, though. Mixwell opening it up. Grabbed himself the ult orb. He's taking some damage and wants to avoid being spammed. Just see how quickly he decides to get out of there. But the benefit is David P can still heal him up, right? So it's the unusual. Only on this map do they still opt for this Sage to come into play. And I love the fact that G2 didn't commit to this B site. You should run. They know how FPX like to try and rotate this around. The Killjoy is going to come into play. Trading out kills for now. David P's gone down, actually. And that's way before Mixwell even had a chance of getting healed up. They're going to try and push up into the A site. And Meadow's actually in a good spot. He'll be avoided. He won't be detained. He can actually cause some damage, but he doesn't have the weaponry to fight up against Patatech. And Artis, he's getting up close and personal. He's going straight up on those rafters for the final kill. G2 with weapons in the hand looking a lot better, to say the least. Hey, first time I've actually seen G2 focused. Oh, I'll be completely honest. In this <laughs> tournament, genuinely, every time we've switched their cams, they've looked like they're... Miles. Yeah, they look like they're playing a matchmaking game in the 13-0 up. They're just chilling like, <laughs> yeah, how you doing? What's up? But now, they're not in streamer mode. They're in gamer mode because FBX yeah. have come in and they've shown them, you know, we're here to play. And it's not even down to the fact, okay, they win the pistol. Who cares? It's how they did. Shadow sneaky play. Angel building up a bit of confidence. Second round, they get up in their face. They take the aggressive fight straight away. That's something we haven't seen from FBX for quite a while. And a, a face I'm happy to see on them. This is oh! dangerous. He's seeing them all. Xiao in with one. And lucky that he only gets away with one, to be honest. Oh, the shock darts as well. He's looking to end a few more lives. He's done a hell of a lot of damage here. The old orb's going to be picked up, and well, Shao's going to hear it all at least. If he wants to have another go, another spam. Oh, they're resin? Like That's dangerous. Already. It was to try and bait that player out into peeking so that the jet could come through, but Mixwell didn't actually spot him on the updraft. Oh! Gets out on the site. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he distracts so Palatech can get the kill, but Xiao still coming through with wall bangs. Took down David P from below. That's ridiculous. And they maintain an advantage. G2, though, they're not pushing into the site just yet. They want FTX to make a mistake before they try and push on it. The ult's going to be used by Artis. He's trying to force him out of Bodaus. It's not going to work out. He's done a bit of damage, but Mixwell will finish him off. Three to two. G2 still on the back foot, but they know they can try and get this done. They've got the position, but it's trying to get that spike one, and it may now be too difficult. Zipan comes round. He's making it work. Then FP ups up four to one. They bounce back straight away. They do not want to let off of G2. They want to keep applying that pressure and put them in an uncomfortable position that they're not often found in. This is looking good, Banks, straight away. And a big mistake by G2 not having someone looking for that recon. Definitely a frustrating opening duel to lose. And then for David P getting yeah. shut down by a random spam through the wall a little bit later on hurts even more. At this point, you know, that's straight away. It's the Shao Machine, the Odin, that we've seen so many times do the damage. It's had the impact in the very early stages of this game. Now, I'll just get in the recon in early. FBX keeps his feet defensive. Meadow loves to play from this position. He's trying to spam him up, trying to soften him up a little bit here. G2 may have full control, but look how low Pips is got already. Zipan straight in with the ult, fires it off, but he doesn't really have the information to do that with. It doesn't connect, it doesn't really achieve anything for him, but FPX still have the numbers advantage in this round. Shadow trying to get some spam on go, but it's all about this push in. How do they find their way in? Nicely oh. done by Zipan, he's in full oh. form, in full oh. force. He is wrecking G2 right now. Only Patatech remains. And it's an easy kill for Meadow. He could not move. They were completely ready for him. And a flawless round. And look at the smiles. Rightly so. Whew. Well, they heard Patatex TP over towards middle. So that's unfortunate. This position was kind of given away as he ran back on up. And all in all, that is a huge round for them. Zipan 
We said that he's one of the players that cannot be quiet. He cannot be silent. And 11 to 1. This guy is on fire. He's just carrying the team through these opening rounds. And on a 5 to 1 scoreline, this is the most threatened G2 have ever looked on this map. Without a doubt. Oh, Shao looking to get aggressive here. I love it. Tries to spam up the corner. Needs to back away. Some shots come out towards him. A very chaotic first start to the round. Just results in one for one trades, but Shao is so low. And this is the problem here for him. Shadow wanting to play off the edge of it. Oh, and he's tagging him up nicely. Beautiful work being done there. The teamwork comes into play. The abilities paying off for him, but will they be aware of how far this has got? Oh, the drone spots him out. And Angel puts him down. The teamwork, the synergy that we spoke about with FBX is starting to flourish here, at least at the beginning for Ascent. Wow. you got to think about this, Mitch, right? Uh -huh. Whoever had the team talk at the beginning before they went into this final, it must have been one of those epic, you know those movie moments where you've got like the stars <laughs> and giving it before they go over the hill. It's, it's a game like one of those kind of things. Yeah. I hope yeah. last time something like that recorded because... We spoke about it. Them needing to be hyped up. Them needing to have some confidence. Right now, we've got a game on our hands, and this is million times better than what we saw from them yesterday. By far. By far. You know, I'm... Banks, you know me. You know me pretty well. I'm a critical person. I'm a negative guy. You know, I'm going to sit in a position where it's 6-1 often versus G2 and go, yeah, these guys... It doesn't matter. I'll point out every reason that they won the round that G2 should still win. But in this instance, I've got nothing. I've got nothing for G2 to give them excuses in this... FPX are looking way better than what we've seen before. Okay, another opening to a loss. The trades are there. Angel punished this time, going down through middle. That's a good start. Do they know Meadows in this corner? I don't think so. That walkout on mid by David P certainly doesn't seem to indicate it, but they've spotted him now with the drone. Oh, he puts no. a cage down, but a little bit too late. G2 winning this one off the back of Mixwell, popping off with the operator. And hey, that's good enough oh. for me. A round wins, a round win. 4K on the board. Now... FBX have lost that. Do they do it again? Do they give those opportunities away? Probably not, but here's the upside banks. That was a very aggressive play. That's what we've seen from FBX yep. so far. Even like rewind to the previous round, they lost a player on, on uh, Catwalk and immediately Meadow pushed out Catwalk to try and trade. The player was already gone, but he maintained the control late round. Now they might be a little bit more skittish about going out for those kills is the only thing, about going out for that aggressive map control now that Mixwell's really chimed up. This is the point, right? It was a total of six rounds across two maps last time. Now they're already up six to two. One thing we touched on is Mixwell didn't need to be activated. And well, Angel's going to put an end to him despite that good round he had on the previous. The rest of G2 have been dominating. But Angel, this confidence, this push play, the spikes on the floor now as well. 2v5 and G2, they don't know what on earth just happened to them. They're second-guessing themselves at this stage, and I would be as well. Start around TP from Angel, just so aggressive, and it worked Ooh, out perfectly. Shot close. missed as well, but Xiao shutting them down. That was a gorgeous round by Angel. And, hey, I love... I love exactly what they just proved there. In a the previous round, they get shut down by some of the aggression they were trying, um, getting slapped back, getting punished for it. And so I'm like, oh, well, Bangston, maybe they're not going to play aggressive this round because of it. And I don't want to see them turtle up again. Angel's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm a TP. Uh -uh. They're spawn. Uh -uh. <laughs> I got this. Now, you know, E2, though, it's how they deal with this. It's how they handle all of it, Mitch. I think that's the key thing, right? Mm. Because they've been down and we've seen them make incredible comebacks. Do you remember that game we covered of them? They were down like... 10-2, and they won 13-11, and we're like, yep, just G2 things, yep. it always happens. But they've never been pressured by a team like FPX. Like, we ignore the one that happened at Allied East, because it's obviously, oh my oh. god, Shadow, here we go. I'll stop what I'm saying, because I want to focus on this man on your screen right now. Operator in hand, and he's delaying what G2 were trying to achieve. He's even going back out for more of a cheeky peek. He wants some more of that action thrown his way. And Meadows pushed up here at A main. And this could be a real problem for him. Piff goes down and he's been not having a great game. I've been saying he's been Mr. Consistent over and over again for G2 throughout this entire tournament. I've been overly impressed with what this guy's been able to achieve. But in this game where FPX are showing a new level. Well, he's been put on the struggle boat. 
This is a pretty unbelievable performance from them. Seven on the board already, looking for eight. David P, good for one kill. How much more can he get? He's close to his ult at Ooh. this point, but he's been shot in the back. Two seconds on his heel, but he can't even get it up in time. Angel's there to shut him down, avoid some bullets from Patatech, and the Battle of the Omens comes through. Patatech not winning it this time. As eight to two we go, FBX looking better than they ever have. That is for damn sure. And G2, they, might, they said, Artists straight up said last time they played FBX, it was a combination of FBX playing worse than they ever have and G2 playing the best game of their lives. Well, now it seems like we've gone for a bit of a flip-flop on that, Banks. Oh, yeah, massively. Well, oh, well. As a wise man it's once said... Keep it up. <laughs> my favorite quote is how the, how the turntables... Yeah, he's trying to spam it up. A little bit too high this time around for Young Shao. And G2 want to try and push on it. Oh, this is popping his ult. He's trying to make it connect, but he's not finding too much success. Angel's falling in the meantime, and they're running round G2. Even with lesser weaponry, they won't make this happen. Shao, what are you doing? You can't do this. You can't get away with that. Straight up in their grills, and he makes this possible, but it was looking like a almost clear round for G2. Let's just push them with an Odin. <laughs> What's That's he doing? confidence, Mitch. That's the confidence we wanted to see from Shao. Zipan's in there, the showstopper as well. <laughs> and it wasn't just the showstopper that hit G2. It was Shao with the Odin in hand, up close and personal. Nine to two and Fun plus Phoenix, they are alive. I want to hear these comms out of G2. Yeah. Oh, man. The reality is, versus a, a team that can actually challenge them, we have never seen G2 in this position. They're not the underdogs in a matchup, ever. They're 1-0 oh. up already in a BO5, and a sense pretty much a guaranteed win. That's what I was saying in the pre-show, you know? If we just kind of follow a train of thought, it's like, okay, already 1-0, they win a cent. Even if they lose blind, they're still so far ahead that the match is theirs. But in this position... That might not be so true. We could be in for one hell of a finals. Oh, no. Shadow. He's been playing that angle a couple of times now. Yes, he's mixing it up, but Mixwell's always ready and waiting for it. But David P up high and Angel even gets away with the second kill. G2 are going to try and push on this, but Shao is still in Boathouse. And this could be a problem. They may know his position for now, but he's going to tag him up again. And he's going to frag him up as well. He's not done yet. He's trying to put the end to more of them, but he can just wait for his teammates to come back him up. But Patatek and Mixwell, they believe they can get this done. Mixwell's incredibly low, but the spike will get planted. It's all on Panatech to deliver the kill onto Meadow, who's trying to bait him out. He's going for the jumps. He's going to look in for it. And Mixwell with the operator, even with the low health, he's standing out there and he's standing strong. He's grabbing him a third round, but what a half we have just seen, Mitch. Incredible stuff from Fun Plus Phoenix. They have defied the odds, came back with a whole new level and understood what needed to change going into this. They've done their research, and they're definitely getting a payoff for it now. How's the second half going to go, though? Is this the gigantic comeback from G2? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. It's time for a quick break, and when we come back, half number two is coming your way. Hello, I am Medu, and I'm here with Angel from... Wait... You're Medu. Okay. Uh, today we're going to play Signature Shootout. Signature Shoutouts. <laughs> the aim of the game is I'm going to read as many voice lines of agents as I can in 60 seconds, and we'll see how many he will get right. Hey, Phoenix. If I die, Viking funeral all the way. Viking funeral? <laughs> yeah. Bridge? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take from them what they took from me. Everything. Wiper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Faster, keep, stop laughing. <laughs> keep them in our sights. I uh, saw. So. Uh, yeah. We kill everyone and our job gets a lot more easier. Green bridge. Uh, yeah, bridge. Why are they so determined to die? Ooh, I feel like I forgot few of heroes I just don't <laughs> yeah. name it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I put it on the screen. Who else is having a great time? Just me? Oh, I'm gutted. 
I'm inside. I'm inside. No, go back. No, go back. You said everyone. We show them their place. Now keep them there. Bridge, Brim, Cypher! No! Wrong! <laughs> oh my god, it's just Always everyone! Always naming Brim and Bridge! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Bro, it's just your voice, <laughs> your acting, you know? Your voice is like Brim or Bridge. <laughs> I feel like we did awful. <laughs> well, okay, we did not that great medal, and we'll see how many medal we'll get right. Are you ready? I am ready. Now I know how annoying my healing can be. Sage. <laughs> yes. Oh, the, the little machines need help. Take your time. We ready and still start without you. <laughs> uh, Kiryoi. No. Uh, uh, pasta. I added ha ha ha. Remember, stay out of the fire. Super high level tactic. Remember it, yeah. Uh, Brimstone. Fire. Phoenix. Yes. Bridge. Cle clear our path. Will keep us safe along the way. Who will keep us safe? Sage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice note. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they call me a monster. Should I prove them right? Uh, we pass. Why? What? There's only one Wait. hero that's I, a I, monster. I, I, uh, Viper? Yes. The poor place. It clings to life. A city after my own heart. <laughs> I have no idea. What do you mean? <laughs> then pass. Keep giving us vision, Sova. Uh, yet. <laughs> pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> That's super harsh. It's really hard. Make sure you're following Blast for more content. Guys, long and one okay. side, one side. Mm -hmm. I smoke long, long one HP. They are long. What hit TP? Omen TP, guys. Dead metal, long, long, long. Omen dead. mid, omen mid, omen mid. Omen Last mid, this is this is good. I have the angle, I have the angle. I'm picking your contact. Pick my contact. Nice. Ah, good, yeah. job, oh, good job, guys. Good job. Zipan, really. There we go. Now, Mitch, those are some really good clear comms. Not overdoing it, not too much craziness. Even when it's a nice round like that, just a nice at the end. They're very calm, cool, and collected. And I like that we see, like, we know who their analyst is, but it's nice that we see the coach shown on the screen there as well. A little bit of a difference maker here for FPX that they've got the full back in now, all large and ready for them. Well, you know, when it comes down to clear-cut comms, that's, that's about as good as it gets, right? Say as much as you can in as few words as you can. Not something I'm good at, but... I just loved it from, like, Zip on there, where he's like, oh, dead here, dead there, Meadow's trying to go dead metal. It's like, that's exactly what you want to hear, so you're not checking spots twice, you're not, you're not second-guessing yourself, things like yeah. that. G2 massively put under pressure here. They need this pistol round. Because right now, FPX, they are so far ahead yeah oh they're miles in the lead at the moment it feels like fpx are playing it it feels like the names are swapped honestly compared oh, to what no. we saw last time g2 are struggling and they know exactly what fpx felt like but this is a team we know are capable of comebacks and in this pistol yeah. round it could be the start of something special they need it really on the g2 side if they want to be coming ahead and you can see fpx immediately they want to move towards this a site they've already been spotted by the turret and they've used up a cage on cross that's a lot of utility expended and it's for a fake there might just catch david p or maybe it's going to be the opposite way around david p he's just snuck into this corner he's not being checked but now spotted by by Angel. Angel's trying to tap him away. It's not going to work out. FPX want to make their way around. David P cannot be in the fight until he deals away with Angel, and that's exactly what he does. And he's going to flank from a different direction now. He's going to more join up with the rest of G2. Those flashes come out. Oh, no, Shadow. The key shots that he hit in the first pistol round. They're not going to pay off in this one. G2 have the advantage on this retake for sure. 
It's the after plant positions that FPX need to get locked down. Shao's incredibly low, but Meadow's in a good spot. The problem is Meadow's all on his own from here, right? He's expecting David P to come from there, and he's gone the whole way around. D2 are playing this smart. They're not taking the risk. Mixwell checking all the corners. The smoke's going to be put down as well. And Meadow, oh, he could play off the back of this. Jump up from Shadow. Zipan's pulling in one of his own, but D2, they're getting this done. Shadow's got other ideas. He's finally pulling it back. 12 health and a dream. And now it's all on Zipan in a 1v2. He's outnumbered. He's outgunned. And G2 pick up the pistol, an all-important one they desperately needed here. Yeah, it comes pretty close in the end, but it wasn't enough to pull them across the line over in the FPX side. That could have been the game under their belt, more or less. And now the question for me is, do they go for a force buy? I hope not. I think this is a spot where they can very easily and comfortably take it into. But I don't know. The confidence is definitely in their court. Mitch, okay. there's no more fitting last ignition series event here for Europe than getting a team that might actually be able to do some damage against G2. Now, it's yes, it's early days. We know what G2 can do. They pulled back from bigger deficits than this in the past. Yeah. No, like, I 100% agree, though. Yeah, in terms of the finals, literally our life for the past few months, Banks, has been <laughs> going to an event, being like, yeah, GT, we're going to win. We get to the finals, we're like, okay, at least, come on, guys, at least make it close. And they don't. Ooh. Nicely done. They're only getting one off the back of it, though. Nice work from David P. Even though that other flash was going out, it could have caused a problem for some of his teammates. And now they'll go on the cleanup duty. Easy stuff for GT and Angel. Well, got that sheriff out and you do love to see wow. it he still lands two headshots with it he's the sheriff master today i remember saying to david p actually before the i think it was the allied ignition series one mm -hmm. where i was like bro can you at least give us a close game and he was like that's not up to me <laughs> it's like you ask them ask them but it looks like finally someone's heard our cries heard our pleas we're at nine to five and it's the first buy round look at what's coming through for david p and mixwell though the double operator set up off the bat. These guys are not messing around. I like it. You're not going to take that risk. You're going to try and put the hurt on him early on. Try to do some big damage. Now that fact is pushing back just a little bit. But he's going in for the repeat. Dangerous stuff. But he will escape with it for now. Mixer wants to trap him here. This could be an easy kill for him to find. Straight away. Angel's not even looking for it. And to be fair, at Catwalk, that should be such an expected spot now. We see it so many times, Mitch. We've seen G2 come back a million times. Well, actually, no. We've seen G2 come back maybe like three times because they're never behind. But <laughs> we've seen them make the the material for a comeback. And I'm getting scared if they win this round. I really am. I'm starting to quake in my boots. We've already got the opening pick, that short pick. Now looking in towards a very passive play. I'm surprised at how far back they're playing on B, actually. They've got one player. That's Artist with a Bulldog, right? And he was the one just playing in market. He's so easily pushed off that angle, but usually it's via a smoke, which I guess isn't in play for FPX anymore. So they're a little more comfortable, at least in that early stage, playing that passive role. Now they switch back over to site plays. 2-1-2 two, two setup. Just a little bit of control on bottom mid. This is what they need. This is what they want. And Mixwell in with another. That's the shot you got to hit. Shadow 40 was the only one there, but Piff's hiding around the corner. Mixwell dominating with the operator. Up to his old tricks again. Meadow's trying to push his way in. And he will get the kill onto Padatek. He's going to go for the spike. Very little chance, though. He's got 52 health. Mixwell to finish it off. Great stuff from him. Four kills into the round. And this is where G2 look incredibly scary. You mentioned the double op setup, but it wasn't even really needed. It did get them the, a couple of kills at least. I guess it's the. I, I also think when you come through with a double up setup, though, it changes the way you're going to set up in general. Um, what kind of surprised me was the fact that it wasn't the op holding over towards Mark. Just that super passive hold was kind of surprising. And also, if you look at that kill Mixwall took, like, yeah, short plays, we see it quite a bit. He didn't dash out of the angle. That's what confused me. Like, he was quite confident to just walk away. Obviously, no one got the first player around the corner, and they probably wouldn't be able to trade him in time. I guess he was just waiting for a bullet to come his way to dash. And that allowed him to find that kill a little bit later on. 
without really having to worry too much when he did see Ray's shoulder peek and he knew, well, I've got an escape. I can dash out of here. It's to be huge and that's exactly what it is to start off with. Mixwell's backing him up as well and slapping from Plus Phoenix down. Goes in for another pop shot. The shock darts are coming out from Artis to give him the backup. And although the flashes are good, Meadow's only walking away with one kill. Artis right on the edge of it. Takes a shot, isn't able to make it connect. This will allow FPX a little bit of room to work with, but still. Oh, nice timing there from Panatech just before the door went down. Meadow just thought he was safe. But you can never be safe against the likes of G2. Shadow cornered. Locked in. May have the spike. But he needs someone in G2 to make a mistake. Now Artis is droning out. Perfect timing. He heard it. He knew what's up. And that's the mistake he needed. But it's still two more players to find. Oh, this is going to be great from Patatech. He's seen where they've gone. Going to try and find his way out. Pops the ult. But is it going to be enough? Patatech and Piff. They're playing it smart. They're playing it together. And they're grabbing a seventh round. The pressure is certainly starting to mount up against Fun Plus Phoenix when you were so far ahead. Oh, we've seen it so many times, Banks. I'm getting worried. Yeah, this is the confident, the strong D2 that really scares me when I see it coming through. Committing the defuse to Pith. Obviously, the ult was already up for Omen, so it makes sense. You want the kill drone to be in play. I'm really this first half was a shocking underperformance from Pith and Artis. Two players that I think have had some of the highest impact out of anyone on this team across this event. And to see them be ones that slowed down, kind of, well, not kind of, did surprise me for sure. But now, hopefully this is the turnaround. It, it must be kind of upsetting though. Can you imagine where the mentality is at for FPX now if they lose this buy round and they're tied up nine to nine? Oh, like, yeah. That is your chance back into this series. You're already 1-0 down, remember, with the map advantage. Yep. And then it's just, boom, it's out of your hands. And the thing is, it's great for FPX if they have been able to pick up a cent because what will happen after that oh, is yeah. that they can push into a situation where buying looks really good. The problem is going to be high. That's nice from Shadow. He's looking for the catwalk push this time around. But you've still got to deal with a hell of a lot more that G2 will throw at you and mix well. You guys spoke about it, right, in the pregame that he's not been having to step up. Well, when they need him to step up, he's been showing it. And that's what he's done so far in these previous rounds. Yeah, 100% mix well has been a player that has underperformed in quotation marks. Just if you looked at stats. But if you see how these games went. It's somewhere that he has not needed to perform. He's still massively positive in his KD. It's just that he's not D-ing. He, he doesn't die. <laughs> doesn't get involved in the kills or the Ooh. fights. David P's got to run. He's got to run for his life. They're coming after him. And that rocket just about misses him. The showstopper. Well, the show isn't over just yet. As David P looks to hold on the site. Dodges the blast back. Out he comes. Hello. Surprise. It's David P. And he's coming through to at least find one. But nothing after. Meadows old's going to be coming up huge for him as well. Tells them how close these players might be, but they still can't deal with Piff. Two operators in play, but Mixwell brings out the knives. You say don't bring a knife to a gunfight, but Mixwell loves it, and he's going to finish off Shadow. He's looking for more. Can't get much from the updraft. Throws the smokes on down, and oh, Piff! Zipan runs straight into it. They're giving him the chance. They're giving him the opportunity. Nicely done from Meadow. Oh, Mixwell, he swapped his guns over. He wanted to try and get the rifle in his hands. And finally, FPX, they grab a round. But my God, it's got so close and it came down to a 1v1 at the very end. As uh, close as you like it, Banks. We're not getting anything for free, but FPX, they've picked up 10 and that is the round that they needed. You, you can see that. That is both a symbol yeah. of victory, of happiness and relief on Angel's face. Like, oh, thank God it's not 9-9. <laughs> oh, I, I was... Uh, Definitely a requisite for them, but now up 10 to 7, they've given themselves a little bit more breathing room. Well, that round, though, shouldn't have been as hard as it was. It should have never been Meadow on his own. Like, Zipan pushed into it. He's trying to make a play. But he's trying to make a play into an operator. You could hear where Mixo was going around, and he just went in at Piff, and, and that's what I'm not a fan of. Little things like that is going to be the difference maker in the game that we're seeing right now. Now, Artis, he's tempting fate here. He's able to deal the damage and take down Shadow early on. Mid control going to be had by G2. It's pretty damn scary. 
As Angel, now David P might not expect this. If Angel doesn't make any noise, he might be able to get away with the kill that evens things up here. Oh, oh beautiful work from Angel. Paratech, he ults his way in, but it doesn't pay off at all. Mixwell's going to bait out the blast. Oh no, the back and forth is it, man. That's what you want to see. His boom bot went out. No one could hit the floor. And he was going to drop the bodies on the floor for landing all the kills. Only Piff to find, and it's got a slow rotate over. He might not even decide to go for this. Wow, and the froze. Look where they've hit. Back in peace, sight. That's some yeah. throw he's got. That was good. That was a great lineup. Not going to work out, mind you, but. Oh, there's the info. Swing, good kill. Oh, oh dodges no. the second. That was so close. That is a sigh of relief from Meadow, I'd imagine, coming through as they just about managed to take that round. And you can see G2. Oh, they're sweating a little bit. This is getting dangerous. Like you said, Banks, they win this game. They move on to Vine. All of a sudden, they could be 2-1 up in this series and one away from victory. It's a long road ahead for FPX, but they did the legwork in the first half. It's G2 that's been clawing it back incredibly well. But now, looking at this score, area. FPX just need to make one more happen, and it's a low buy coming out here for G2. It's going to take some big plays to come up. And no mistakes can be made now either. Over 90% win rate on this map, Banks. G2 have It's their map, like, not just in their map as a pick. I mean, like, G2 claimed descent early on. Yeah. From day one, this was where they belonged. This is where you did not want to face them. And now they are under threat in a round where they have very little hope Ooh. anyways. The tag, the kill. Pith got double ulted That's there. Cute. Not a whole lot you can expect from them. No. Super unlucky of your pick. Now the rotates fully come in, but is it going to be enough? The spike's down, but the afterplant position's already here for FBX are huge. Zipan gets the nade out. Oh, David B's got to be careful. So much damage potentially done. Mixo can't hit the shot either. Zipan is feeling it right now. There's still five alive for FBX, and David P's just right on the edge. He's just got to hope for some way to escape, but he's going to get shot in the side of the head. Shout runs around the corner. They're all over him. And right now, FBX are one round away from evening up the score one to one. We've got to remember, right, is that G2 came from the upper bracket. For anyone that's just tuning in, they've got a one map advantage in this best of five. But that advantage is slipping away ever so slowly because the next map is going to be the pick of FBX. It's going to be bind. To be honest, a turn of phrase that I didn't use on the desk, but that I was going to, was that they don't have a one-map advantage. They have a two-map advantage because of sense in the pool. But Lucky evidently, didn't say that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 like, this is this is unheard of for FTX. If they can beat oh, yeah. P2 on Ascent, there's no map they can't beat them on. They can win this series. They can defeat G2 in an Ignition Series event, and they are certainly going to do it on this map by the looks of things. A five versus two. G2 falling apart at the seams on their home turf, and it's all down to Pith and Artis to try and make this comeback happen. A long-range judge, not what he wants. Hold on, Pith could oh. one, but he tanks the damage, and there's no way out. 13 to seven, FBX have just beaten G2 on Ascent. The Titans have finally fought.